Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about defect template in Jira. So to start with, just click on create button at the top and it will open create issue template. All right. And depending on the issue type, the template fields are configurable or configured. So for example, if you want to change the issue type to task, the fields will be different. If you want to issue, change the issue type to story, the field will be different. So in this tutorial, we will learn about the bug template. So if you select the issue type as bug, it will open the bug template in the create issue. So we'll cover the details of this template one by one. So the first option, which is mandatory, is the project. You need to select the project for which you want to create a bug. The issue type you need to select. So if you select bug issue type, all the fields or all the sections in the create issue will be updated as per the bug template. Then you need to provide the summary of the issue. And reporter will by default populate it to the current logged in user. And if there are components defined in the project, it will list the components here. Then you need to, you need to describe the issue whatever issue you are facing and then in the description you have to provide the steps to reproduce expected results actual results in the fixed version it's uh, it's basically utilized by the development manager when they accept the defect and which version the defect will be fixed in and then, the, then you select the priority labels, environment, which test environment you found the issue in or what configuration you were testing with. Then you provide all those details in the environment section. If there are logs to attach or the screenshots to attach, just drag and drop the files here or browse the files to attach in the defect. Uh, you need to provide the affected version. So for example, you are testing version 2.0 You need to select version 2.0 in the drop-down Then you need to link the issue. So this is very Important to have the traceability. So for example, you are um, You are you have the test case You are already executing a test case uh, and the test case failed and you're raising the issue for that particular test case then you link that particular test case and the related story with this defect. Right. Then assignee is someone who will be the whom the issue will be assigned. So for example, uh, if the components were defined and you are choosing the component and the component lead was already set up in Jira, then assignee would would be an automatic assignee. Otherwise, you have to manually assign it to either development manager or the particular developer whom you want this issue to be to uh, fix then epic link is the high level epic if you want to um, assign the defect you just need to provide the link epic link here and sprint is the current sprint so for example you are working on a story which needs to be done in this particular sprint then you need to provide the current sprint for this defect right. and the other option here you can see is create another so if you choose that box uh, choose the uh, choose that checkbox and create it will create that particular issue and leave this window open with all the information uh, mandatory information pre-filled so that you don't have to type in um, the information again and again now this create issue template is kind of common across different issue types in Jira but you can highly customize it so for example for bug you might need certain more fields which are not required for story so as a, as a Jira administrator you can add remove the fields that are required for a particular issue type so these are the default fields that are available for bug but you can configure those fields as as a Jira administrator also as a user you can configure the fields whichever you don't want to see on the defect template so at the moment all is selected but you can select the custom 
and you can choose which fields you don't want to see in the template for your defect so that is uh, pretty much all about the default bug template in Jira in next tutorial we will learn how you can log defects in Jira thank you